I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. It's been a rough week for our country as peaceful protests spark looting in some cities. Several dispensaries were targeted in the mayhem. As many as 43 stores reported looting in California, but retail operations in Oregon, Illinois, Pennsylvania, and New York all experienced some robberies. Most pointed out that these were not protesters, but instead organized professionals taking advantage of a distracted police force. Green Market Report stands with the protesters and we made a donation to the NAACP Legal Defense Fund. All right, on to the news. Smoking accessories e-commerce brand Green Lane Holdings reported falling revenue for the first quarter ending March 2020. Net sales fell 32% to 33.9 million in the first quarter of 2020 versus 49 million for the same time period in 2019. The company blamed the drop on the FDA's restrictions on the sale of certain products, primarily mint flavored Juul, and the execution of Green Lane's plan to deliberately move away from low margin Juul sales to focus on higher margin products. The company also delivered a first quarter net loss of 16.8 million. Now this was slightly better than last year's net loss of 17.7 million for the same time period. Cannabis venture capital firm Canopy Rivers reported its fourth quarter results. Revenue was flat at two and a half million for the quarter in 2020, while the net losses ballooned to 30 million from 2019's net income of three and a half million. Well, there still seems to be a little bit of money rolling around out there. Multi-state operator Acreage Holdings says it has entered into two definitive funding agreements to receive up to $60 million. That announcement comes on the heels of Acreage saying it expects to take an 80 to $100 million charge. Acreage wasn't the only company lining up some capital. The Valens Growworks company arranged for up to 40 million in Canadian dollars of secured debt financing. M. Hardeen Group said it has terminated its previously announced acquisition of the edible company Cannabella. And finally, Clever Leave said it will be listed on the NASDAQ as a result of its agreement with the Schultz SPAC, Special Purpose Acquisition Corp. That's it for this week. Stay safe, everyone. I'm Deborah Borchardt reporting for the Green Market Report.